Hi there, here's a quick diagram short looking at the relationship between average marginal and average variable cost and how we draw them using conventional theory of the firm diagrams. So looking at this diagram, when the marginal cost here, the cost of the next unit produced, when the marginal cost is less than the average cost, then the average cost must be falling. Once the marginal cost meets the average cost, intersects here, average cost is minimised. So uh, the lowest point in the average cost curve must be where marginal cost intersects average cost. Thereafter, marginal cost is now rising above average cost. That's dragging up the average. So when marginal cost is above the average, the average will rise. That's the basic marginal average relationship. Now let's put an average variable cost. Average variable cost is the variable cost per unit. And uh, also worth noting here that marginal cost must cut the average variable cost at the minimum point of, of AVC. And we can also show average fixed cost on this diagram. This is the traditional family of short and cost curves, if you like. We can also show the average fixed cost. Don't forget, fixed costs don't depend on output. The total fixed costs are constant. So the average fixed cost is simply the vertical distance shown here between variable cost and total cost. So it's the variable distance at so AVC to AC is the average fixed cost. And notice this gap is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Average fixed cost is falling because total fixed cost remain the same. As we produce more output, the fixed cost per unit must fall. Because the fixed costs are being spread over a wider, higher level of production. And that's how we draw the traditional cost curves in the short run. Short run AC, MC and ABC.